Hello, and welcome to the SNMP Feature Overview. Today, we will be taking a look at the new SNMP version 3 support. To navigate to the Information Collection Engine settings, click on the Administration tab. Next, click on Customers. Find the customer you'd like to modify the SNMP settings for and click on the link under the Site column. About a third of the way down the page is the Information Collection Engine tab. Scroll down until you see the SNMP Settings section. A new feature included in IDM 3.18 includes support for SNMP version 3. The change allows configuration at the site level to limit scanning using only SNMP version 3 for customers requiring adherence to security policies or compliance to regulation standards. There is also support for mixed environments which may require SNMP version 1 or version 2 while allowing newer SNMP version 3 devices to be captured. A third option is available to disable SNMP version 3 support in the event that SNMP version 3 is not leveraged in the environment. This is the default setting for new sites and emulates the previous IDM scanning methodology. Once the SNMP v3 scan setting has been selected for the site, the SNMP v3 setting selection will be available for additional configuration. The username is related to authentication on the device when sending the SNMP version 3 request. For SNMP version 3 scanning to properly function, all devices within the environment must have the same username. Multiple SNMP version 3 context names can be specified in a comma delimited format, just like the SNMP communities, and just like the community setting for SNMP version 1 and version 2, the most common context should be listed first for faster discovery. Please note that ICE will always try a request with a blank or empty context last if nothing is returned when using the previously listed contexts. Next, the security parameters around the SNMP version 1 request need to be configured. Device support will be a factor as some devices will allow none as a selection, where others have a minimum level of authorization only. The setting here will depend on the devices in the environment and their support of the SNMP version 3 protocol. Devices must all support the same level of authorization and privacy security. After making a selection for the security level settings, authorization and privacy protocol settings must be configured depending on the security level selected. The authorization protocol supports MD5 or SHA algorithms, and all devices must support the same algorithm. The authorization key, password, or passphrase must also be the same across all devices. If authorization and privacy was selected for the security level, the privacy protocol must also be selected. Again, this must be the same across all devices. Selecting a protocol that all devices do not support will prevent the device from scanning. After determining the privacy protocol setting, the privacy key, password, or passphrase must also be the same across all devices. When finished configuring the SNMP v3 device scan setting and SNMP v3 settings as is appropriate for device support in the environment, be sure to click on the Save button located at the bottom of the Information Collection Engine page or at the top of the page located just under the Help link. The configuration changes will be applied to the site on the next automatic scan. For more information on SNMP version 3 support, please refer to our knowledge base on www.printaudit.com or contact support at printaudit.com for additional details.